What is up guys, this is how to set up a Minecraft server for 1.8 and above. Uh, this is specifically going to set up either a craft bucket, or known as a bucket server, or a spigot server. So if you wanted to set up a craft bucket server, or a spigot server, this is how you do it. This is the new way of doing it for 1.8 and above. So it doesn't matter if this is 1.3 or 1.8, whatever server you're going to want to do, this is the the way you're gonna want to do it. So things changed a bit, and this is this is the new way. So the first thing you're gonna do is type on type in Git in the internet and download Git for Windows. So you could click on Git here and uh, wait, you know, 20 minutes for my internet to load, and then uh, go download for Windows right here. Uh, download that, and then go to you know locate it and install it. So once uh, Git is on installed then you're gonna wanna get spigot or go over to spigot I should say so let's go over to spigot type in spigot spigotmc.org open that up and we're gonna navigate to the download section and if you just click downloads it should take you to the Jenkins site or you know if they have more downloads in there you know navigate to where it says the Jenkins and then it'll take you here so this is the new thing here. It's called buildtools.jar. So this is what you're going to want to download and just download the latest uh, successful artifact. There is no version of build tools, so all the build tools are going to compile uh, whatever version it is. So just get uh, the latest version of buildtools.jar, download that, and once that's downloaded, um, what we're going to want to do here and I got mine right here. You're going to want to make a new folder. Um, you know, wherever you want to put yours, I'm going to put mine on my desktop and name this new f folder whatever you want. I'm going to name it server. You know, you could probably name yours Minecraft server. And just, you know, drag and drop your build tools into the server. Now, once that's done, you're going to want to right click. And you guys might not be able to see this, but, but that's okay. Just right click on your server with your build tools inside there. Okay, so right click, I'm going to do that right now, right click, and then you're going to select uh, git bash. So there's something in there that says git bash, I don't know if you guys can see this because my recording doesn't show it, but click git bash and this windows will pop up, it's like a command window. Okay, so once you did that, you're going to want to type in um, this command right here, however, um, it depends what you want to build. Okay, so let me walk you through this. So if I type in this command right here, it's going to build me the latest version of Minecraft. However, if I want to downgrade and say, okay, let's just say, you know, the, right now the latest version is 1.8.3. So if I just type in this command, we're going to get version 1.8.3 of Craft Bucket and Spigot. However, if I add this to the end, so if I go like this, we are going to get 1.8. So whatever version you want to build, you know, you would uh, put the flag here, dash dash rev, and then whatever version on the end. Uh, keep in mind this won't work for versions that are under 1.8, so, you know, but 1.8 and above. So we're just going to get the normal uh, latest build, which is currently 1.8.3, so... I'm going to type in java java dash jar without that zero in there and then build tools dot jar and this is going to take a while and you hit enter once this hit enter it's going to start doing its thing it's going to take a while and I'm going to get back to you when this is done all right guys so that's going to take some time and you're going to know when this is done doing its thing when you're back to your command line here so it's going to point back to you know your initial starting spot with your you know pointing to the, your directory now it might look like it's done in a lot of spots or that it hung up or whatever but you got to keep in mind it takes some time so let it do its thing um, it's building a lot of files and like a lot of gigabytes it uh, went through so let it do its thing so you'll know it's done when it you know shows your command line here uh, once it's done, 
you can close it off. However, if you did have a problem here, and for whatever reason it built, um, you know, it built you a corrupt jar or whatever, and you didn't get what you needed to get, it is recommended that you add the flag and downgrade. So if you know. Uh, the default command that we put in here is going to get the latest version for us, so it's recommended that you know you downgrade to a, a prior version, you know, by adding this flag at the end when you go to build it. So close this off. This is done. Uh, open your. I'm going to rename this file uh, to reflect something, and I'm going to call this spigot. Uh, spigot builds. Okay. Now I'm going to make a new folder, and I'm going to call this the actual server. So you know, you call this Minecraft server. Now, if you go into here, you will see there's two files in here: spigot and craft bucket. So whether you're going to run a craft bucket server, server or a spigot server is up to you. Uh, for this tutorial, we'll we'll do a craft bucket server because a lot. People, you know, they know more about craft bucket. So either way, you know, drag which one you want and drag them into your server. And we are done with this. You don't no longer need uh, anything in here. You can delete this whole file here. No longer need it. So now, one, once you got this and you got a new folder and you either got spigot or craft bucket in here, uh, like I said, you know, depending on which one you want to run. Uh, we're going to make a new folder and we're going to call it a uh, run whatever you could call this whatever you want I'm going to call this uh, run server and we're going to change the file type to dot to dot bat at the end so not dot text we're going to change it to dot bat and it's going to say something here and we're going to go yes um, if it didn't work the first time you know rename it again and rename it properly Okay, so once you got this uh, .bat file generated, and you'll notice it's here's like an icon for it over here. Uh, it has this icon on my computer. On my your computer, it might look a little different, but that's how you'll know you got um, the .bat file. It's, you know, your icon will change from its text file. Okay, so once that's done, you're gonna want to have a server starter. So this is the server starter that we're going to use here. Select your uh, server. This is whatever you named yours. Start server, run server. Right click it and go edit. I'm going to paste this in here. You guys will you know, manually type this out into here. And we're going to have to change a few things. Um, right here these two numbers represent how much RAM your uh, Minecraft server is going to be running. Now, if you leave it at 1500, you're probably going to be fine. Uh, you know, you shouldn't be. If you know, recommended, you should probably have four gigabytes of RAM on your system before you even you know attempt to run a Minecraft server. Anything below four gigabytes, you might be pushing it. So, you know, you can leave these numbers the same, or you can change them. So 1500 megabytes is 1.5 gigabytes of RAM that my server is going to use. So if you want to make it use more RAM, you know, you you change this to you know 2,000 megabytes or 3,000. But keep in mind, if you try to run your server with more RAM than you have, uh, it's not going to work. And if you try to run it with uh, not as much RAM, it's not going to work either. So you might have to adjust these parameters here. Next parameter that we're going to change is this parameter here. So. Um, if you wanted to run a spigot, a spigot dot jar, you would copy that and place replace that in there. Or if you want to run craft bucket dot jar, we copy that and paste that in here instead. And we'll be doing the craft bucket, so paste that in there, like so. You know, whatever your file you're going to use, and just close it, save it. And now we can start the server. So all we got to do is just double click it. Now it's going to come up and make sure you uh, have make sure you have the pause in there at the bottom. It's going to come up and 
Mind stop, you need to agree to the EULA in order to run the server. Go to EULA.txt for more info. So we'll close this off and we'll open the EULA.txt and you could actually go and you know look at what this EULA is saying and I recommend that you do uh, go read what this is, you know, type in Minecraft EULA, the URL might be right here and actually it is right here so you know copy and paste that and go read it for yourself because you're agreeing to these terms when you're running your server so all we got to do is change this to true we'll select yes and now we'll rerun it again and now it's actually gonna compile our server and there was some system cannot find the file specified here what was that 1.7 it's probably nothing to be concern but yours might pause and it might crash and hang up again at which point you know I'd recommend going back into your server bat click edit and edit these numbers so like I said you know don't give it too much RAM and don't give it uh, too less of RAM anything over you know one thousand should do depending like if it's your first time initializing the server one thousand might not even be enough so um, you know jack it up change those numbers alright guys so once your server is all loaded it'll say done now this is your console for your server so everything exists right here hopefully uh, you guys can see this so if I just type in list we could see that there are zero out of 20 players on the server so you know this is our console to operate the server we can type in commands in here server commands and stuff like that so let's join the server open up your minecraft go to multiplayer go add server and type in local local host and here you could see the minecraft server is and you can join it and connect to it now keep in mind local host will only work if you are on the same as your client is on the same as the server so if you started your server on a different computer and you know you're loading minecraft uh, local host won't work if in that case uh, you know see my v next video on how to uh, get into multiplayer and you know set up connections uh, through IPs and stuff like that. I'll get into that on the next tutorial. So just to finalize this guys, um, if you do want to close your server, you know this is your server and this is your console, uh, you want to click or you want to type in stop and then hit enter. Don't just close it here. If you do that, um, it's gonna run, you're gonna run into issues with your server and you know you'll corrupt things and bugs and stuff. So just close your server, just type in stop you know, it'll stop the server.